welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel with 20,000 subscribers. This is crazy. But the best thing about it is that I get to create content like the video I'm going to show you today, which is a tour of my dressing room. And I've been wanting to do this video for so long, but we've had so many issues with things coming late and oh, it's just been an absolute nightmare. But Finally, we are 99% done in this room. I'm so happy because I've lived for the last two years with the most dirty brown carpets in here. Because before we got this house, it was actually owned by um, a lady with two children. And this room was their bedroom. It was clearly very played in because there were paint stains all over the carpets. And yeah, it was just the way that they left it when we first got in was the cupboards where I keep all my stuff now were absolutely covered in their stuff. I even found some teeth, like it was that bad. <laughs> For it to be in the stage that it's in now, it is a real pinch me moment because it's taken me a long time to be able to save up for all of these items and I'm just so happy that we've got brand new carpets, brand new furniture and it's really my space. Like I just absolutely love that this, this place is just for me. So. I'm excited to share this with you and the best part about it is that I've worked so bloody hard to buy every single item in this room. No one else has helped me. I have worked my ass off to pay for all this stuff. So it's a really special achievement for me to come into this room and think, wow, I made this happen. So with that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna take you round right now. I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit iffy. It's a really sunny day, as you can tell with the lighting. Um, so we've had to try and make it work, but hopefully you get the gist and you enjoy this video. If you do, remember, please give me a thumbs up, share it with somebody and subscribe. It means the world to me. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm going to show you is these six drawers and they're from Ikea and they're part of the Malum range. A lot of the stuff I'm going to show you is from the Malum range because I just wanted it to all match. They were £115 and they are, I think I'm going to tell you what measurements they are. So measurement wise they are 160cm by 78cm and as you can see they are humongous but in terms of storage they are so good because you can just fit so much in like I've even got a drawer for my bodysuits. I'll show you now what is inside of all of these drawers and how I've organised them but honestly I can't tell you how much I think this is worth £115. The quality of it is so strong. Anthony even laid across it and he weighs about 18 stone so it's definitely durable and I just think it just has a really nice finish. It looks really nice as part of a set and it just kind of frames the room. I'm just happy that we actually got this one because I didn't measure anything before we went to Ikea in the room, which was really stupid. Um, and we just kind of bought it on a whim, but it fits absolutely perfectly here and it really has made the biggest difference in terms of storage for this room. And obviously it's my backdrop for all my videos as well. So in terms of storage in this one, I'm gonna show you my underwear drawer. <laughs> here is all my sports bras and any day-to-day -day bras. Knickers, other pants, socks, thongs, shapewear. Then in here I've got a whole drawer for bodysuits. These are bodysuits I don't really wear that often, kind of special ones like the lacy ones and stuff like that. Then these are my day-to-day bodysuits. Then I've got all my gym wear in here. So I've got my gym leggings, gym tops, gym pullovers. Then in the bottom one I've got all my loungewear but stuff to wear outside. So it's all like tracksuit bottoms, jogger bottoms, really nice co sets that I've got that I wear to run errands in. Then these ones are just all my pyjamas. This is one thing that I had no storage for. So one thing I love about this set is the six drawers is that they're Drawers are so deep and they can fit so much in. So I've just accumulated so many pajamas and house clothes over time where I've just had something that I've loved and I can't get, I'm not ready to throw it in the bin so I just wear it in the house as pajamas. So these two drawers are absolutely full and now I'm never looking for where my pajamas are. They're always in these two drawers. Put away, nice and tidy and nice and neat. When we first moved in, I had loads of necklaces and they were getting tangled all the time. So whenever I came to actually want to use one of them, I couldn't because they were all tangled up in just a mess on here. So I came up with this idea to get a rack which you hang your coats on and I've put little 
hooks into it. I just need to drill some holes in and we shove some hooks in. And it's made the biggest difference because it's made this kind of jewellery display for all my necklaces. And they don't get tangled, they hang there perfectly and then obviously I can just shut the door and no one can see this if I don't want them to. And then I've just put the lights on it up here so it has a really nice feel in the dressing room when I'm getting ready at night and I can just see all my jewellery lit up. Then I also got this from Amazon which is all the places to put my rings in, um, earrings and watches are there and then I keep all my fragrances on here as well. And then I just have everything else in boxes so any belts I might need, gloves, I mean it's not the most aesthetic area but obviously I just close the doors and no one can see it but everything is organised. shoe rack and it is the most requested item in this room that I've had from you guys. It's from Ikea and it is £65. I'll put all the details down below as well so you can click on the links but I have to tell you how much I love this. It does come in a different size, you can get a higher one, you can get a smaller one, it comes in three different sizes but this one for my dressing room is just perfect. I think anything higher would have just been too much and made the room feel smaller so I'm really glad I can put the boots on top. I've got my little bags at the back on a shelf and everything's organised into trainers, my most wore heels, my sparkly and special ones, my nude and then the ones that are a little bit wild and animal print at the bottom. The shoe rack I had before was from Amazon and I think it was about £50 and it was terrible so spending that little, little bit more on this, it's such good quality like you can tell it's not going anywhere, it's really sturdy and I've put this little light on just again to make it a little extra bougie. <laughs> so this next one is a little bit of a makeshift again. This rail is called a this rail is called a Nordly and it's part of the new IKEA range where you get the Malum, which is the same as a six drawer one over there, but we've got a three drawer one, and you insert on the back with a screwdriver this rail on top and it is so secure and sturdy again and I just think it makes a really nice addition to the room. I've already got a rail that I bring it in and out for when I'm shooting and put extra bits on there that I've got from coming in from brands I need to shoot but this one is just more for my everyday bits that I might need to grab so there's my cardigans, blazers, just accessories with the scarves and things like that. Then I've got my sunglasses here which I keep on this little stand from Amazon and then all my little handbags that I might need for going out or out outlooks are all stored on here as well. It also comes with these two clips so you can add bags and accessories on there and it's just a great place to hang bits that you might need and grab and I just think it really makes use of the space in the room. This unit is £30 for the top rail and then the chest of drawers are 60 This is a really lazy thing but I absolutely hate having loads of clutter everywhere when we've done the washing. So I've kept this drawer free, it's got a few little bits in now. But I literally just put all the clean washing in there and then when I have a spare second, maybe the next day, I then put it back and it's just not left anywhere. It's kept away. <laughs> Then in here I have all my jeans, I folded them all up, got loads of jeans in there. And then in the bottom drawer is stuff that I have from brands that I need to shoot and they're just extra bits that I want to keep separate so I don't put them into my wardrobe and forget that they exist. So next we've got this dressing table and I got this when we first moved in nearly two years ago now and as you can see the quality has stayed the same, it's kept its colour, it hasn't gone an awful off-white colour, it looks exactly the same as all the brand new furniture and storage wise it is perfect for doing my makeup because I can keep all my makeup in this drawer that pulls out. It's £75 and I've also added the Malum 2 drawers at the side for all my hair stuff as well and I think as a set it just works really well. You can fit check the chair underneath it really sleekly and it just looks nice all together. So I'll show you now how I organise my drawers with the makeup. Please don't judge me because obviously there is a lot of makeup in there, it's quite messy. So inside I keep all of my makeup in here and organise. I have all my foundation and sponges and every little thing that I'll need for everyday makeup there. And then in here is all my bronzers, concealers, eyeliners, stuff like that. And then I keep my eyeshadow palettes over there and any everyday brushes in the corner over there. And as you can see, 
it just goes away and no one has to know the chaos that goes on under there. Then in these ones, I've got all my hair stuff. So on top, I keep this heat proof mat from GHD with my curlers. And then in the drawers, I have my straighteners, my hair dryer, and any other little stuff. So like dry shampoo, curl spray, heat protection spray, stuff like that so you could grab every day. Um, then in the bottom one, we have extra bits that I might need, so my nail polishers, um, eyelashes, old makeup palettes that I need now and again but won't wear all the time and it just keeps it all nice and tidy and organised in there. Then this mirror which is a little bit snazzy, it took a while to come which is why the dressing room video has taken so long for me to film because it came from China but I had no idea. It was £157 off Amazon and it does all these amazing snazzy things so the lighting can change the colour that you want the tone to be. It also goes higher and lower in terms of the brightness and I just think it's such a nice size. It's really nice and big. I had one of the Ikea mirrors first, which is one of the flat ones. is a little bargain one. And now having this whole space to do my hair and makeup makes such a difference because I can really see everything. It's not just like I'm looking into the mirror. So I highly recommend this mirror. It's been really good so far. And I think it just adds a nice little touch with the gold. It matches the chair legs, which I think is a nice little feature. is actually a real bargain from Amazon again. It's $46.99 and it's got this really nice little black and gold feature on the bottom. I like this bit as well because you're not going to get too hot with a velvet chair on your back. And in terms of size it fits perfectly under my dressing table. I just love it. I think it's such a bargain and you would never guess that it was so cheap. It was under £50 and definitely does the job. It fits under the dressing table Perfectly. The last thing to do in here is just the curtains and I can't decide whether I want a gold blind or gold curtains. So help me decide in the comments below what you think would look better, a blind or curtains. Thank you so much for watching this video and let me know in the comments below what you think to my dressing room and if you are going to purchase any of these items yourself. Thanks again, bye!